Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this new devlog on the progress of my Endless Runner game using Unity. I've been on vacation the last week, I made a trip to the coast to chill out a little bit and get my head clear which is very important as a software developer. But still I managed to spend a few hours a day at least to work on my game and in this video I want to share my progress and keep you guys updated. As a short recap, this is how the game looked at the end of the last episode. We managed to spawn some obstacles on the road the player must dodge. I've built some prefabs and I wrote a, s a simple script to make it spawn randomly at a specific chance. Now, I decided that it's about time to spawn some collectibles in the form of coins the player can collect to get different bonuses. I will start with implementing a first prototype and I will keep evolving and refactoring it as I iterate through the development process. If you want to see more devlogs, please make sure to subscribe to stay updated and also leave me a like if you like this video and drop a comment and let me know your thoughts on the current state of the game. I appreciate any feedback, tips or ideas and I will gladly implement if I like them. But now let's get things going and let's start adding our collectibles. First I of course needed a model for my coins to collect. Unfortunately I haven't found one in my asset packs I'm using even though there are many generic prefabs but maybe I'm blind. Either way I decided to create my own model in Blender since a coin shouldn't be so complex to do and it's also a good practice at modeling. I started with a simple cylinder instead of the default cube and I tried to stick to real dimensions so that I don't have to rescale stuff later on. For the coin itself I took the coins from Super Mario Odyssey as some kind of a white blueprint. So I created a simple low poly model in Blender ignoring materials and so on. Maybe I will come back and use it some kind of a texture atlas in the future for all my self made models to save performance. After finishing my coin model in Blender, I simply exported the FBX and I imported it in Unity. Of course I had to create a new material, I played around with it a little bit until it fitted our style of the game. And I think it looks really decent for the current state of the game, we can easily work with that. But of course as you see it looks really static so I decided to make it rotate by default. So I created a simple script and just used the update method to make it rotate around the y axis at a specific speed every frame. I also tested out how it looks when you have more coins laying around and I tweaked a few values to make it feel right and uh, fit the style of the game. Here's my result so far. I think it looks pretty good and the tune shader gives the coin a nice style to it. Now of course we need to spawn them on the road automatically. For this first prototype I decided to go with a quick and dirty approach. I don't know if that's bad practice or not but I decided to create a simple script which basically holds coordinates for our obstacle prefabs and there can be defined where the coins and other collectibles can be spawned and our spawn manager will read the values and will take care of the rest. So I defined variables for the positions where they can lay on the ground and also positions to place them for a jump. So every prefab I create must contain possible values for coordinates for collectibles or if not there shouldn't be some. So I added the component to my prefabs and I quickly added the values where they could spawn. This was a little bit of work because I had to do that for all of my 21 obstacle prefabs I had so far and even more will come in the future. Of course I could have done the coin spawning with some sort of a raycast to detect possible positions and I will potentially do that so in the future. But again we start with a simple prototype and I will refine and refactor it as we iterate. For now the solution is perfectly fine as long as it works properly. So now I just needed a simple script to work with our spawn values and spawn coins as we spawn obstacles. I expanded our spawn obstacles method to do that and uh, also if there are no obstacles to spawn at all it should have a small chance to spawn some coins on the blank road. After I finished expanding my spawn script I quickly tested it out in Unity and after some small adjustments it worked properly. Of course I had to add some more variations and randomness in the future but I think for this stage of the development process we are good to go. Now of course we need to work with the coins in some way to make something happen when we collect them. So I've set up a trigger to do stuff when the player touches them. To be more specific I of course want to count the collected coins and afterwards remove the game object from the scene. To determine what trigger our player entered I use tags now. So I added a new tag for our coin and also wrote an if statement to react and it seems to work properly now. Guys, I don't know if this solution is ideal, but it works and this is the main goal at least for now. I mean instantiating and destroying that quantity is usually not so good performance wise. I will for sure have to go back later and use some kind of a pooling system that will be much better in terms of performance. This will be very important to get it running fast on mobile. But again I optimize step by step as I iterate and for now our main goal is to get a functioning prototype up and running ASAP. Of course we also want to display our collected coins so I added another UI element. Like before I just keep it simple and just show a text with the collected coins. 
I just needed to make the player interact with the game manager and let him know by a method call that coins are being collected. Then our game manager takes care of the UI and displays the right amount of collected coins. As you see it's working fine, we are able to collect coins and the amount of coins collected gets displayed on the top right side of the screen. And that's about it, we have now a fully functioning prototype of our coin collecting system up and running. Like we do in every episode, we will now compare the previous version of the game with the current state. And this is how the game looked before this episode. And this is how the game looks now. I think the coins add a little bit of life to the game and slowly but surely we have more and more of a real game we are looking at. Like mentioned we are still in the prototyping phase and our main goals are to get working prototypes of every feature up and running fast. I think it works out really well for now but still every single component created so far of course needs at least a few iterations to optimize, refine and refactor. Please let me know what you think about the current state of the game in the comments guys and also please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more devlogs and if you want to see how our endless runner is evolving. Coming up in the next episode we will finally spawn some enemies our puppy must avoid. For this we will code a simple enemy AI and make him hunt our player. We will also make the game react when we get hit by an enemy. I'm not sure yet if the game will be over on the first hit or if we will have some kind of a health bar or something like that. But I guess we will find out. Guys, thank you for watching, stay healthy, take care, see you in the next video, bye bye.